Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 4, quarter 2, week number 4. So, our learning competency for this day. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to change improper fraction to mixed number. And then, uh, vice versa, and change fraction and to lowest term. So, lesson number 7, change improper fraction to mixed number and vice versa. So, let's have an example to further analyze how to change a improper fraction to mixed number. Again, when we say improper fraction, the denominator is greater than the denominator is greater than the new uh, the numerator is greater than the denominator and when we say proper fraction so the the numerator is less than the denominator and when we say mixed number it involves a whole number so this would be an example of a proper improper fraction so this would be an improper fraction now so we're going to make this one as a mixed number so how do we change this one into a mixed number first we're going to divide 19 to 4. So, divide 19 to 4. So, 19 divided by 4, we have how many? We have 4. 4 multiplied by 4, the answer is 16. Then subtract, we have 9 minus 6, the answer is 3. And then 1 minus 1, the answer is 0. So, we have a remainder of 3. So, in rewriting this one into a mixed number, so the whole number is outside the fraction bar. So, we have, and then the remainder is placed in the numerator, and the divisor would be the denominator so this would be the final answer so the final answer is 2 and 3 fourth okay next sample number 2 so easily change this one into a mixed number how many is the remainder oh what would be or how many 5 can get in 11? So we have 2. What would be the remainder? The remainder is 1. And then copy the denominator. So this would be the final answer. Okay. Next. Sample number 3. Now this time you're going to change the mixed number to improper fraction. Okay. Okay, so change this one to a improper fraction, EC. So you're going to multiply, multiply, 5 times, uh, 2 times 5, the answer is 10. And 10 plus 1, the answer is 11. 11, copy the denominator 2. So the answer is 11 half. Okay example example number four change four and three fourth to improper fraction so just multiply four times four the answer is 16 plus the numerator three the answer is 19 so the final answer is 19 fourth copy the denominator Okay, so let's have some practice. Great for pupils. 
Try this. Direction. Change the following improper fraction to mixed number or vice versa. So, you have 2 minutes. Your timer starts now. You have one minute, grade four pupils. You're going to change nine fifth to mixed number, then third to mixed number, and then four and one half to improper fraction, and two and three eight to improper fraction also. seconds. Great for pupils. Ten seconds. Okay, time is up. So, let's rebuild the answer. So, what would be the mixed number of 9 fifth? So, the final answer would be 1 and 4 fifth. Because how many 5 in 9? We have 1. And then we have remainder 4. And then copy the denominator 5. Okay, next. 10 third. So, the answer would be 3 and 1 third because how many 3 in 10? We have 3 and then the remainder is 1 and then copy the three denominator 3. And then for number 3, you are going to change this one to improper fraction. So, the answer would be 9 half. So, 2 multiplied by 4, the answer is 8 plus 1, we have 9, and copy the denominator 2. And then for number 4, the answer is 21, 8, because we have 8 multiplied by 2, the answer is 16. 16 plus 3, the answer would be, it is 19. It is 19. Okay, 19, 8. Okay, next. So, for the lesson number 7, changing fraction to lowest term. So, to change fraction to lowest term, so, it also called the simplest form to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF Factor. A fraction is in its simplest form if the only common factor of the numerator and the denominator is 1. So, let's have an example. So, express 2 8 in simplest form. So, 2 8 is not in a simplest form. Why is that? Because 2 and 8 has a common factor. Like I said earlier, if numerator and the denominator has a common factor, it is not expressed in a simplest form or it is not expressed in a lowest term. So, what would be the common factor of 8 and 2? 
the common factor is 2. So, we can divide now both numerator and denominator with 2. So, 2 divided by 2, the answer would be 1. And then, 8 divided by 2, the answer would be 4. So, the final answer would be 1 fourth. Again, let's have an example. Example number 2. So, the numerator is 5 and the denominator is 20. So, 5 and 20 has a common factor. What would be the common factor of 5 and 20? The common factor is 5. 5 is, can be divided by 5. Correct. 5 can be divided by 20. Correct. So that the common factor of 5 and 20 is 5. Now, let's divide. 5 divided by 5, the answer is 1. 20 divided by 5, the answer is 4. So, the final answer would be 1 fourth. That's very easy. So, let's have a practice. Great for pupils. Let's try. Direction. Put a check on a blank if the fraction is in lowest term. If not, write it in a lowest in simplest form. You have 15 seconds. Great by pupils. Timer starts now. Okay. Time's up. So let's let's check your work. So 936 is in the lowest term. No, so we can we're going to write this simplest form of 9 and 36. So what would be the common factor of 9 and 36? The common factor would be 9 because 9 can be divided by 9. 9 at can be divided by 36. So 9 divided by 9, the answer is 1. Then 36 divided by 9, the answer is 4. So the uh, final answer would be 1 fourth. Okay. Next, let's proceed to number 2. 10, 14. Is it expressed in lowest term? No. So, what would be the common factor? The common factor of 10 and 14 is 2. So, can be divided by 2. So, 10 divided by 2, the quotient would be 5. And then, 14 divided by 2, the quotient would be 7. 5, 7 has a common factor. No, so this would be the final answer. Okay, next, 13, 15. Is 13 has a common factor with 15? No, so this would be checked because 13, 15 is expressed in lowest term. 5, okay, next, number 4. 518. Is 518 in expressed in lowest term? Yes. So this would be check also. And then for number 5, 14 and 24. 14 and 24 has a common factor? Yes. So let's start with the smallest. The smallest is 2. Okay. So let's divide. 14 divided by 2. The answer is 7. Then, 24 divided by 2, the answer would be 12. 7, 12 has a common factor. None. So, this would be the final answer. 7, 12. Okay. So, I hope you already get the correct answer. Grade 4 pupils. So, Practice more to get 
the lowest term of the given number. Okay, for your reminders, grade 4 pupils, we're going to answer what can I do and assessment on page 16 to 17 and page 19. So, that's all for today, grade 4 pupils. I hope you already know how to um, convert the mixed number to improper fraction or improper fraction to mixed number and also express a given fraction to lowest term so that's all for today